I got a question. Why is it that no one makes juggling plates? You know, like plates made specifically for juggling, not for spinning, like just for juggling, for throwing and catching. For this act that I've been working on with the bottles, I, I felt that I needed something big at the end, something like with lots of props. I have that throw the bottle into the bucket for the last trick and it's nice and it's like a good ending to that section, but it's not like, it's not a finale. I usually end with seven clubs. Like I need something with, with many props. So I thought it would be nice if uh, I could have Danielle throw me five plates from across the room. It's a nice big image, lots of props. It looks big. I was hoping I could do six, but it turns out juggling plates is a lot harder than juggling rings. I don't know how these people did it. Like maybe if there were some juggling plates that were specifically designed for juggling, it wouldn't be so hard, but I don't know. I couldn't find any. I was looking all over the place, couldn't find anything online anywhere. So I decided to pop on over to Dollarama to get some props as I do. And I found these plates, they were plastic. They looked like they would have worked. I tried juggling them, they seemed okay. They fly a little wonky, the weight's not ideal, but I could juggle five plates, it was fine. Except for when I drop them, they break, and that's, it's not great. Obviously I shouldn't be dropping, but even for practice, you know, you gotta drop a little bit. So I got these like plastic trays. They definitely weren't gonna break when I dropped them, but they were way too light, way too light. I even added rope and tape and cardboard to make them heavier. They were just too light, they weren't gonna work. Then I found these plastic plates that like were a little softer plastic. They spun much better, but they broke too. Obviously plates from Dollarama are not made to be juggled. Who would have thought? So I thought I'd grab something that I know works. It is made for juggling. I would use my juggling rings. I know how those fly. I know how they drop. So I took my juggling rings. I covered them in white tape to hide all the orange. I cut out a cardboard circle for the bottom, taped that on there. Tried my best not to have any creases or folds on the duct tape. Then I cut out some like card stock white paper, kind of glossy for the top and for the bottom, glued it on the bottom with some tape, and that's it. That's all it is. They're a little heavy. Up close, they're a little bit ugly. They don't look like they're plates. You can tell that they're made with duct tape and cardboard, but while they're spinning, nobody notices. They look just fine. I probably could do six plates with them, but I only had 10 rings, and I used two rings per plate, so five it is. That's how I made my juggling plates if you have made some juggling plates, you have any tips, you've seen juggling plates at a store somewhere or a festival, let me know, I'm very curious. This is not a long-term solution because I already miss my juggling rings.